So how is that performance coming along? ESO Graymat Graymore 2020, everything that you've been waiting for. Remember all through 2019, where the developers like, we got a plan, we got a roadmap, 2020, we coming in hot. Right? We coming in hot with them fixes of the laps. What lag is gonna be gone? And well, here you are. Are you still playing ESO in 2020? Did you buy Graymore? Are you still a sub? Are you sitting there scratching your head? Why hasn't the performance improved? I've been I've been buying crowns. I've been I've been I bought the I bought the I bought Graymore. I bought the expansion. I've been subbed for you know forever. I'm a PvPer and the performance is is worse than ever, right? Performance improvements dot dot dot. What performance improvements, right? Performance have gotten worse. Are you a streamer? Are you still streaming ESO? Still on, still on stream talking about this combat is terrible. This lag is terrible. I can't even play during prime time, so I'm not playing in the morning. Now I can't even play in the morning. What the fuck is going on? Well, you are part of the problem. You are part of the problem of why ESO is the way it is. From Zenimax's standpoint, if you're still buying the DLCs, if you're still subbed, if you're still playing, if you're still streaming, and you're still up in the crown store, then what's the incentive for them to change, right? I mean, businesses don't make changes unless you hit them in the pocketbook. That's real, that's that's just a reality. And so people wonder from patch to patch to patch. The worst part is I watch some streamers and people were like, hey, should I get Graymore? You know, I'm looking for a new game. Should I play? <coughs> and I'd be like, fuck no. This game is shit. I'm waiting for New World. Hopefully New World will be better. And then they go off and they're like, oh, let me go find someone else who wants me to, wants to say yes. And I hear this in other people's streams. People streaming it, talking about it. ESO, yeah, come on in, man. It's fucking amazing. And for the longest, for the longest, PvPers were complaining about this. And all the PvEers were like, we don't see shit. What the fuck are you talking about? X, Y, and Z. Game is amazing. You just hating. And then it came to PvE. And they were like, oh, hells no. Oh, hells no. No, 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 no. What's going on here? Our performance is being affected. And it's like that saying, well, you know, they came for X, Y, and Z. They came for him. You didn't say nothing. And then now they're coming for you. And now you're up in arms. And that's just a reality. It was only a matter of time before the PvE community experienced what the PvPers had been complaining about for the longest. Right? Everybody wants to put the blinders on. As long as it's not affecting me, I don't see a damn thing. And then, oh shit, it's coming for me too. The lag has come for you too. The skill delay has come for you too. In my opinion, I think the skill delay is actually intentional. Zenimax had been talking about the skill cap is too high between PvE and PvP, primarily in PvP. And so they lowered the amount of the, your ability to actually animation cancel effectively. Because it's only when you're actually animation canceling, especially when, especially you're in the middle of combat and you're animation canceling very quickly, where you really start to feel the skill delay, and you're like, I just press my pop, my pop didn't go up, and you see the icon on the recap, and you're like, I'm watching, and the icon is like getting pushed in, and the, the skill ain't going off, and Zenimax be like, Nope, you have lit, you have reached your skill limit, right? Your APMs are too high, and we are shutting you down for the next three seconds. Oh shit, you died. What's well, all right? It gives you time to respawn and you have to do it all over and then all over again. And then you're like, fuck this game. It just came to the point. I tried Gurry more for like, I don't know, a week, maybe. And I was like, I can't, man. I just uninstalled that shit on the stream and I was like, no mas. No more. No more. Can't take it. Can't take it. Right? It's just a reality. But I feel for a lot of you out there that are like, well, why isn't it improving? It's primarily not improving because of you, because of you, the customer who doesn't change their behavior. If you do, if if a company is not giving you the performance that you want, if they're not giving you the quality that you want, then you must remove your finances from that company. You can't just keep on supporting them. It's just a reality. You can't keep on supporting them. You can't keep on buying the expansions. They, most of the time, they sucker you into buying these expansions because they put shit in there that's OP for PvP, like in like with the Malakath band, right? Malakath band OP, especially for no C PvP, and that's how they get you. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They know how they can sucker you in. They're like, give me that forty bucks, and you're like, oh shit, Malakath band. They're like, I'm gonna get it, right? Make it rain. Throw my money at the screen. Take my money, Zenimax. Right, and then you get in there, and you're like, "My fucking skills don't go off. I'm stuck on a load screen. I just ate eight. I just ate ten load screens in the past thirty seconds, 
And then you see the exact same thing in PVE. It won't change until you change. And I pray if you come over into New World, please don't. Please don't come with the same behavior. If New World is shit, then leave and go play something else. Or go hit the gym. Go take a walk. Enjoy the sun. Something. Something other than constantly giving these companies that don't deliver performance. They don't deliver what they say they're going to do. And you just keep throwing your money at the screen.